bounce off. Sturm taps it in. So big basket by Sturm. 53, 50, 59, 53. Panthers lead it. And that's going to be called on Miller. Not the bus comes in for Glenn Jackson.
fake the break to the basket and didn't throw it. That's costly there. They could have dropped that within one. Wheeler pressing just out. Now double team. He's re beats them both. So Butler get it out. Missed. Rebound by Spell. He picks up Spell. Jump shot. Spell and he hits it. I see Camden bothered by Sterling Lawrence. But Camden is generally a fourth quarter female. If they show their strength, they really start creeping up on you in the second half. He's a good guy to have when you're in trouble with the stop and jump shot. That's in and out. Rebound spell. Kind of a poor shot there by jump shot Rila. That's off. Spell rebound. Nothing oh, happened there. So West, West probably rushed that too much. Yeah. 
what if Greenhow had been here? What if he didn't have his appendix removed? Well, if hits and butts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. Right? No Merry Christmas, you say that. That's right. Just play with what you have, and you can't do anything about it. for the hoop, and he misses it, and Stern gets the rebound. I'll tell you, he's got a ton of rebounds. Tim Dwyer. Chambers. Knocks it off Aaron Burke. Nice play by Chambers. 63-61, there's three minutes, seven seconds left. A great one. Crossing out front, here comes Wheeler. Here's where they really want to get it inside the Sturm if they can. They should be double teaming them probably. Miller takes it inside, jump shot. That's off. A rebound by Burt. Good rebound. Gets it up to Kostov. Player is okay. 
Okay, he really took a shot on that foul. Ned, uh, with a minute 13 left in this ball game, Cherry Hill West still not out of it with a 68-62, especially now in the advent of the three-pointer, but the loss of Brian Spell by fouling out and really hurting the Lions. Yeah, and you got to remember, I didn't have him down as having four fouls before then, and uh, he did play almost all of that time. I guess Coach Murray must have felt that he really couldn't compete in this game without Brian Spell in here, so he had him in here even with four fouls. And he did make a chance he moved. He took that ball baseline right into traffic to get his fifth foul. And then we watch uh, Victor Pistarkin in today's game, and his, uh, his updates are scoring on him, not having the typical Victor Pistarkin game, however, probably uh, right Victor, up there. Yeah, Victor has 28 points, but the key is he's only got two foul shots in the fourth quarter, and he's missed numerous shots and actually threw the ball away a few times, so it's not a typical fourth quarter of play by Victor. You've seen him really explode in the fourth quarter. And the scoring there, but the composure not quite there. The young man, Jason Chambers, being helped to his feet by West coaching staff. Now the bus is going to report in for Jermaine Williams, who followed up. And now we have a, a substitution coming in the game, number 42. And that's David Cohen. David Cohen, a transfer student from Cherry Hill High School East. And I believe he's just a sophomore. He's a sophomore. He's coming in here for, uh, for uh, Jason Chambers. Now, Cohen had 10 points against Triton the other night. Hit double figures in a... Uh, a game that uh, was a pretty easy win for the Lions with lots of bench personnel being time. So Cohen coming to the line. Well, he's actually replacing him to take the ball shot. He must be one of his better foul shooting people on the bench. Minutes and uh, they just played a tremendous game and they 
they've really frustrated Camden everywhere. And right now, Clarence Turner, so Turner is not happy, and he's especially talking to Victor to stop, and he's supposed to be running that offense. And uh, these two teams scheduled to meet again in February, and then they'll have Taheem Green now back. Yeah, but that game will be in Camden. That'll be in Camden. So one may offset the other. I don't know, Ed. I'm pretty impressed with Cherry Hill West Lions. They uh, talk about tenacity. Well, they've done a good job. I mean, and Alex Sturm has been very impressive with the boards. He had two points in the first half, and he has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen points in the second half. So he's really come to life in the second half, and he's got a lot of rebounds. I bet he has 20 rebounds. Camden taking it out, full court pressed by West. Even Reg Jordan's giving instructions over here out of bounds. <laughs> Big press here, oh, they're going to call a foul. Bad foul, but unfortunately for West, they fouled the wrong person. 14 seconds left on the clock. It's a two-point ball game. Panthers 70, Lions 68. Now West has got to hope that uh, the stop and misses here to give a shot to tie. If he makes these shots, West has got to get up court as quickly as possible, take a shot, and then two foot front. Jump shot. He hits it! Oh, great shot! It's a three-point shot! And they're saying no! They're saying it's a two-point shot! This place is bedlam as Alex Sturm hits a three-pointer! And they're saying no! They're saying it was a two-point shot! They are not calling that a three-point shot! Oh, they're giving him the three, I think. And now we're going to change the problem and see what happens with the freshman. Well, let's see what they're doing. Thank you. 
period. And a lot to do with the West, way West is played. Bounce back. One referee's calling. What are they calling here? What are they calling this off around? They're waiting for the best. They're calling it all. Camden's ball going down. And now Camden is going for a time now. Good night.